Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to a Dead Frontier 2 video. This is going to be my solo everything build. So you're going to be able to do everything on this. Like, basically all the bosses. It's all about so being able to solo all the bosses in the game. That's what I mainly do in the game. So that's what the build's all about. Make sure to check the description below for timestamps so you can skip to a certain part of the video. Check out the social media and all that good stuff. Obviously, we've been streaming the game every other day. So I hope you enjoy this video, guys. Let's get on with the video. Alright, so first things first. We're going to go on to the skills. Like I said, it's unique. You do need to be level 30 for this build. Um, you do need to start your prestige in. Like, plus 5 is a very must-have. I'm only plus 2. I'm working on plus 5. I do need to get plus 5. But I've gone with Jogger. You can go Jogger or Sprinter. That's entirely up to you. Your decision. I go for Jogger because there's no cooldown. Like, the, you've got full speed all the time. I prefer Jogger. If you are using Jogger, you want to be hitting at least 70%. Uh, with Sprint, good luck. I have no idea. Um, I, I don't use Sprinter. Quick shot, not really for the aim speed. The aim speed's a bonus. It's all about the attack speed, the plus 50% attack speed on shotgun, submachine gun, pistols, and rifles. And then you get plus 50% aim speed, which is a huge bonus. So, jogger 5, quick shot 5. Rifle expert 5. We're doing this for the damage, the maximum accuracy, minimum everything. You know, attack speed, aim speed, maximum accuracy, minimum accuracy, rifle, body damage, rifle, headshot damage. It's a beast, get it. Now, I've got shotgun a 3. This is where it starts getting weird. I'll get to that one in a minute. Toughness 5, plus 75 health. You're going to want it. It's going to help you out a lot. Hunter 5, damage versus mutated. Like I said, it's a solo everything build. Obviously, we want to be killing um, mutated as fast as possible. Stuff like tendrils and stuff like that. So, here is where the prestige points come in. So, you're going to want medic, depending on how much health you have. And you're also going to want shotgunner for the more damage and stuff. So, I currently have, with the items that I have, 226 health. So, I went for medic 4. Which gives me plus 80 percent so a paramedic bag will give me 180 health so when i get the little yellow icon to show that i'm dying at 50 health i could pop a paramedic bag and it'll put me to full health maybe like 10 hp less than full health depending on how much damage i've took I'll, when i use a paramedic bag i'm always going to be straight up to near full health that's why we've gone for medic 4. if i went for medic 5 and i went to ye yellow i'd be wasting some of the heal so i went with medic 4. And shotgun expert free. This is with um, the uh, two prestige points. So obviously level 30, I could have got medic to five, but instead I got shotgun to one. And then as I've leveled up another two prestige levels, shotgun to two, shotgun to three, and then eventually I'll get shotgun to four, shotgun to five, and then when I hit prestige five, I'll get medic five, and that'll be it. That'll be the build done. But yeah, that's it. That's the build. That's the skill points: jogger, quick shot, rifle expert, toughness, hunter. Then work into medic to get, you know, make it sure you're always hitting a paramedic bag is going to put you to full HP. Then anything after that that's spare, get a shotgunner. No. Uh, so on to the weapons. I'll talk to you in a minute. I've got the Dragonoff SVD and the Rare Manberg 590M. Right, so for Dragonoff SVD or, you know, M14, what, the best sniper you can get. That is going to be your main source of DPS, range, headshotting everything and then the reason we have the shotgun as a backup weapon is straight up just for the knockback that is literally it it's just for the knockback so the reason we got it is mainly for tendrils because obviously they're extremely fast and it's hard to beat them with a rifle so obviously you get the shotgun you can get the knockback and all that good stuff so yeah that is the weapons anyway so you want the best rifle you can get and i really advise getting the manberg 590m strictly for the clip size of 20 because you you never want to do a reload on this in a fight it's it's strictly just for knocking stuff back you never want to be reloading it you want to be reloading it after a fight you know before going into a boss room never during a fight the type onto the like the clothing and stuff like that the type of stuff you want to be looking for just honestly like i said it's a unique expensive build you want to get a little bit of everything my shirt minus incoming damage inventory space a little bit of energy i don't care about that and the health so incoming damage inventory health that's what i've got for my shirt trousers a uh, little bit of inventory get that size possible again right so for your trousers and your shirt you just want health um and minus incoming damage and as much inventory space as possible and then on your trousers try and get that jog speed like see my 22 health 18 jog speed Minus one incoming damage. The minus incoming damage, hopefully I need to get some better trousers. These are not good trousers. I definitely need better ones because the inventory and the incoming damage is terrible. It's got health and jog. So yeah, they're the three, the three things that you want on your shirt is incoming damage, health and inventory. And then on the trousers, you need four things. That's where it gets expensive. Incoming damage, health, 
jog speed, inventory space. Um, on the masks and gloves, so again, you just want to be getting like so. You're gonna want knockback to help with the shotgun, knockback distance, uh, stun duration. As you can see, I have both of them on my mask. But I only have knockback distance on the gloves, but then as you also look at both of them. I have aim speed on both of them, a little bit of reload. You know, a little bit of headshot damage. You want to try, like, you need to get a lot of stuff on these two items. Your gloves and your masks are going to be really, really expensive. But try to get that knockback distance and stun duration because it's really going to help with um, when you need to use that shotgun to get stuff away from you. So, yeah. I'm going to show you some gameplay now. You know, I'll do some boss fights and stuff. Try and get a tendril in there. I'll have a look for one today. Um, hopefully I'll find one by the time I upload this video, finish editing or whatever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, I hope it helps. Let's go check out some boss kills. This clip that you're watching now where I did Cameron Sun Solo 3 vs 1. Um, I actually made a full video on this, there's a link in the description below. Nice. One down, two to go. Build nuts. I love this build. 